Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another episode here on European Confessions. The following story that you are going to be listening to, it comes from a translation of a message that I received. The message reads like this. Hello, my brother, how are you? Can you please post my own story as hidden identity? My confession, my brother, it also comes with a warning. I want the ladies out there to know that before you start dating a man, you need to make a little bit of a research so that you can see that this guy that you are dating is okay spiritually. This thing that happened to me, my brother, it was not a nice thing at all and it is still affecting me even up until today. I am still traumatized by the experience that I had when I was sleeping at that guy's house. Well, my brother, after me and my husband had a very big fight, I then went and I started staying with my parents. When I was staying with my parents, well, my sister who was here in South Africa, she then said that I want you to come here so that we can start staying together. Well, I came and I started staying with my sister. Whilst I was staying with my sister, I had a challenge whereby in the location, a lot of men that were chasing after me until finally I came across this other man and this guy, my brother, I saw that indeed he had a lot of money and I was attracted to his material things because I wanted someone who was going to be able to take care of me. When I started dating this guy, even my sister said that this man, he has been given to you by God and God is not going to grant you this gift twice. So you need to make sure that you are not going to lose this man. My sister told me that I had to keep him to myself. But the only problem and the challenge that I was facing was that this guy, he didn't want me to work. He told me that I do not want you to work because if you go to work, then they are going to steal you from me. So this guy, he would give me like what they call the girlfriend allowance. He would give me money so that I can send the money back home to my kids anything that i wanted this guy he was giving me but still my brother i was not comfortable with this guy because of his behavior this guy i had never like gone to his house as like a sleepover or made love with him in his house he always avoided us having any physical contact whenever i was with him at his house he made sure that each and every time when we would make love on that day is either we would do it in his car late at night or he would go and book me at this other guest house and we would sleep at that guest house that was the relationship that was there between me and this guy i then returned back to my sister and i told her and i said this man he is taking care of me this man he took me to a saloon he had my nails done he had my hair done but i am still worried this guy he does not want to commit to me because i was ready to get married to him but he didn't want to commit into that relationship so i then said i am worried that this guy he is married maybe his wife right now is back home in zim so i do not understand what am i supposed to do dear sister my sister then said that all that you have to do is make sure that you keep on pressurizing him so that he can stay with you it then happened that one day i told myself that this guy today he is going to make love to me in his house i then went to his place when i went to his place my brother i tried by all means to make love to him but he totally avoided me whenever i was doing like some laundry cleaning the house showing him that i was fit to become his wife and he needed me like if i would be sweeping in the bedroom then you will be standing at the door watching my every move if i would try to shift any of his property you would then tell me that no you don't have to do that because you are going to damage your back and i want you to give birth i want you to have as many children as possible so i do not want you to damage your back that is what this man was doing and it was really suspicious because he avoided touching me kissing me as long as we were in his house House. but when we were outside of the yard that was when he started being romantic i returned back home and i was really heartbroken because i said this man indeed this man he is married or he has a girlfriend somewhere when i returned back home i then spoke with my sister i spoke with my sister about this issue and we then 
said this guy he is married my sister then said do not worry my little sister we are going to fix him if this man has been sleeping with you in his car in the guest houses not wanting to marry you then we are going to embarrass him in front of his wife my sister then planned and then this guy when he had called me i pretended as if i was just walking around then me and my sister at that time we were already on the taxi traveling to his place there in the suburbs and very nice place when we went there my brother nashi when when we were at the gate that was when i told him to open up the gate but my brother this guy he totally refused he totally refused and when i returned back home with my sister i was like crying a lot because i thought that the reason as to why he had refused it was because he had a girlfriend i was so heartbroken on that day but this guy my brother when we got onto the taxi he started driving and he came to the location we found him already waiting for us he then said that he was not cheating and stuff like that my sister said well my in-law if you are not cheating on my little sister then why did you refuse us to get into your property then the guy kept on complaining until i said well it is over i am going to look for a job and if i meet a man i am going to start dating that man and i knew that this guy it was quite a jealousy guy he said that he was sorry so me and him my brother we then went to his place and i was happy because it was like a new beginning in our relationship he was now ready to commit to our love this was like a new step that he had taken a bold step for the first time that he had taken in our relationship when we went to his house my brother when the evening arrived we then went to bed when we went to bed this guy he was on top of me he was riding me while he was busy riding me this guy he felt so nervous like this guy he would ride me then he would check his back as if there was someone that was about to step him i said what are you doing do you have any other girlfriend that is locked up here in your property maybe you are afraid that one of your, your girlfriends is going to walk up on you making love to me this guy you could not even respond i then said okay let me come on top so i came while we were doing that style whereby the woman will be on top my brother the moment that i inserted his manhood into my private parts that was when i felt this dark feeling coming over me it was as if in that room there was this evil spirit that had suddenly rushed into that bedroom the spirit was so powerful and evil i even felt really nervous the hairs on the back of my neck they were actually rising up and i knew that there was someone who was there with us in the bedroom my brother i then asked him what was going on i saw the sadness that was on his face the guy then said that she is here when he said she is here i said who who is here who is in, in this bedroom what do you mean is there a third person in this room then the guy said a spirit a ghost is in our bed is in this bedroom right now as we are speaking the ghost of my wife she is here the ghost is here she is looking at us right now my brother i felt so nervous just like that then there was an explosion the light bulb in his bedroom it then exploded then the electricity on his property went off and i was really nervous and scared i then asked him if he was not going to i then said go and then light the electricity i then told him to go and switch on the electricity he said who who do you want to go and switch the, the electricity i do not want to be attacked by the ghost of my wife so we then sat in bed throughout the night then that guy told me that the reason as to why he didn't want to he didn't want me to come to his house so often it was because the spirit of his wife was still hanging around the property and the spirit was such a jealousy spirit i felt so nervous we could not even sleep throughout the night i asked the guy so is this the type of a life that you are living the guy then said yes this is what happened to me i then said so what happened to your wife the guy then said that when he came here to south africa as a successful businessman he then fell in love with his 
own personal secretary and they started making love until the secretary fell pregnant and then the wife suspected and caught them cheating so the wife then started beating up the secretary and this man that i was dating he got angry because he knew that this secretary of his she had fallen pregnant so he then beat up his wife and the wife returned back home and when he returned back home that was when he found out that the windows the doors were opened and as he was walking to the bedroom he said that i called out her name but there was no response when he walked into that same bedroom on that same bed that we were lying on he then said that i saw my wife's body was just lying there motionlessly it was not moving he then said that i saw that she was holding a lot of pills and then he knew that the wife had actually taken her own life by overdosing drinking all of those pills any pill that she found in that house in that moment she drank everything until she could not take in any pills anymore she then passed away and that is how this man started struggling i said well if you are being attacked by the ghost of your wife why don't you try to buy another house and then say it as rich as i am so you think that i do not have any other houses here in south africa the guy said i do have those houses but the spirit of my wife said do not test me the day that you are going to move out of this house i am going to do something bad to you that you are going to regret for the rest of your life so this is the torture that the guy has to go through almost on a daily basis to return back to that house where he knew very well that the wife ended her own life but she cannot he cannot do anything about it he cannot bring someone so as to keep him company in that house he has to suffer alone when i had this my brother throughout the night i was nervous after that i said let me look for a job let me leave these rich men with their riches I learned a great lesson on that day. Your dear listeners, right there was a message that was sent to me by one of our sisters. Yo, she was saying that ladies out there, please beware. If a rich guy just start dating you, you need to do your homework. Otherwise, you never know what is going to happen to you.